from Television City in Hollywood. <laughs> it's a sunny and cheer comedy hour. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Sonny and Cher. Exceptionally so. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Boy, I was I was on tonight, wasn't I? Yeah. When Sonny Bono is hot, he's hot. <laughs> oh, really? You know what it is? You know when you when you look great, you sing great. You better change your clothes. Your suit sounds terrible. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is is that a joke about my uh, singing or my suit? Well, let me put it this way, honey. I mean, the suit's a bad color. It doesn't fit you. It's in bad taste. I mean, in other words, it just looks atrocious. What about my voice? I like your suit better than your voice. <laughs> yeah, that's more like it. You know, I, I don't like being kidded about my singing. Uh, I, folks, I've, I, you probably don't know this, but I put in a lot of years of apprenticeship on my, and a lot of years of practice. I started singing in the, mu I started in the music business when, when I was about 10 years old, I learned, uh, I learned from my Uncle Tony, who is an impresario. That's Italian for organ grinder. <laughs> Sarah, that's not funny. It, it just so happens that my, my Uncle Tony gave me my first break. He didn't have any choice. His monkey ran away. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to me and the chimp. <laughs> okay, I'm warning you, Cher. You start with Oh, me. honey, start, I'm just kidding. Start, I'm just, start with the biggie. I'm kidding, sweetheart. Here, let me put a nickel in your cup. <laughs> okay. 
one of those kind of nights, How's huh? How's your tail? It's fine. <laughs> one of those kind of nights, huh? Right. Okay, you're going to make fun of my singing and my uncle? Well, remember one thing, Miss Un Unhumble. Remember one thing, will you? Yeah. I, I, this little Goomba, I, I made you. <laughs> you put a period there. I, I made you what you are today as well. Oh. No, seriously. I, I did. No, I, I, I discovered Cher was what I wanted to say in the first place. I, I, uh, I saw her one night on stage, and, and when I heard her sing, this is true, when I heard her sing, I was just totally involved in this whole thing. I just, I heard that, that voice, and I was sold. I said, that, that voice, and that range, and that pitch, and, and the modulations, I was, I was so impressed. When she finished, when she finished, I said to myself, my golly, my golly. <laughs> That girl has a terrific body. It's amazing. It's, re it's really amazing. She never used to talk this way when, when we first started going together. I mean, totally different girl, completely different. She was silent and bashful, no smart remarks, no Pocahontas puns. No, seriously, she'd just sit there. And, and mind her own business while, while the rest of the family would sample that good old, good old fashioned homemade Bono wine. Homemade wine? Yes. No wonder your mother's feet were always purple. <laughs> I thought it was because her combat boots were too tight. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, I come out here and you, you've insulted my mother. You've insulted my Uncle Tony. You've called me a monkey. And what's worse is you've made fun of my voice. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. You knew I was only joking. I mean, you tease me, I tease you. We have a little fun. Maybe I went too far, but forgive me, OK? I mean, forgive me. I can make a mistake. Are, are you putting me on now? Or is no. It, is this a setup? this is it. This is the truth. I'm sorry, really. You, you really mean it? I really mean it. You really mean this? Yes. You are sorry? Yes. Please, forgive me. Okay, I forgive you. All right, I'll go fix your banana.